And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zed Azir. We're going to be playing some Ionia Aggro. That's right, Ionia Aggro. It's going to be fun. I like playing these Ionia cards. Um, and uh, this, this should be a fun one to play. So we got two uh, three mana champions, Azir and Zed. Both great at attacking. Both want us to attack a lot. Um, you may think just looking at them that you're like, oh, well, they kind of overlap on the, the same part of the mana curve. But it does basically guarantee that every single game we're going to have a, you know, a champion, a really impactful champion that we're going to be playing on at turn three, which can swing the game, whether it's Azir or Zed, right? Because we don't always have both champions. Um, but whenever we do have both champions, we can play Azir on defense, Zed on offense, and should still work out pretty well. Kind of the, the thinking of this deck is like play an aggro, like one thing that the person that made the deck and donated for it wanted to play an aggro deck that um, also had... Uh, four copies of deny basically two denies two right negations um, at the top end so against the the shadow owls decks that are usually a big problem for this kind of deck with like your withering whales and ruinations and all that kind of stuff um, you have a lot of counters uh, to be able to stop those spells whether it's deny or right negation so we kind of got that going on we got the sand spinner at the four mana slot because sand spinner is just awesome marshall at the five mana spot um, but then early on, you know, we're going to have Dunekeeper, Sparring Student. Sparring Student should be pretty sweet with Sand Soldiers. Each Sand Soldier gives Sparring Student plus one, plus one. Zed's um, Living Shadow gives Sparring Student plus one, plus one. Also, the Ancient Preparations, that whenever this thing uh, comes into play two turns later, that would give the plus one, plus one to the Sparring Student whenever it enters. Same with Green Glade Duo with the plus one, plus zero. So we have, like, the ways to grow our um, Ionia attackers with those. We got... Um, we're playing eight, like I like uh, Inspiring Mentor more than Ancient Preparations. I think Inspiring Mentor is honestly a, a real good card. Normally, we'd want to play this card, but we kind of have to play Preparations to play Shapestones because Shapestone is just an awesome combat spell. So it, it kind of means we have to downgrade our one drop to be able to play this really good card. So we have Ancient Preparations and Rock Hopper bringing in some Roiling Sands, and then one Emperor's dies as well. All right, but it looks pretty sweet. Should be a lot of fun. Ruthless Predator gives us some removal. They can also uh, like buff up a Zed, right? Like you can make Zed like five power, and then Zed uh, be able to challenge something as a five two, and then it brings along another five two Living Shadow. So that works out pretty well. So that's why we're going two Predators, one Exhaust instead of just playing the cheaper card Exhaust. We want that extra plus two plus zero with Zed. All right, but that's that's our deck. Let's get to it. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked. Here we go. All right, Twisted Fate Fizz. So we just saw the balance patch 2-5 with the different nerfs. We saw a bunch of stuff in this deck getting nerfed. So they're trying to <laughs> use their deck before it gets nerfed. Can't can't blame them. Okay, we're going to mulligan our 5-drop and keep the rest. I know Sand Spinner is a 4-drop. We want to usually keep cheaper things. But it's a really good 4-drop. That Vulnerable can be super important for killing... Um, Actually, I probably should start with the preparation, shouldn't I? Yes, I should have, because then, well, well, maybe not. The desert, by my anyway, uh, this can kill Twisted Fate or Fizz, something that's important like that. What are you doing, puppy? Puppy. This is my puppy. Her name's Puppy. Humanity is obsolete. Love it. No, go back, block the other one. So yeah. So I guess they want to keep their uh, thing a 2 1, but we get to keep this thing alive, so that's cool. I will take Zed. So now the, the ancient preparations should come into play on turn four. By playing this on turn two, it's going to come into play on turn four when which is going to be the next time we have the attack token, so it's going to buff up this sparring student right before we attack, which is really nice. Deathmark works well with both the Living Shadow and also with the Sand Soldiers. We have a lot of different ways to make Sand Soldiers, and so we can that use Deathmark as like a hard removal spell. Join me if you want to live. I am the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? So the main thing will be whether or not we play the Sand Spinner before attacking. Darkness. Of 
Yeah. Look what good comes of mortal greed. Worst case scenario is Twisted Fate. Never lost a fair game. All right, so yep. All that glitters. Twisted Fate Gold Card was the worst case scenario. So Mystic Shot Twisted Fate was the was the worst possible combination of two cards that we could have that we could see. Oh, okay. Deny could stop uh, more Twisted Fate red cards and gold cards. <laughs> but all their stuff's burst speed besides, like, get excited and Mystic Shot. They're planning out their turn. They discarded Stress Testing. This is where Ride of Negation could be a little bit better if they do level up Twisted Fate. And then they would have like the blue card, red card, gold card all on the stack. The sun disc shines on us all. Let them think it's luck. Nice. They got a bunch of cards that are going to be nerfed. Unfortunately, I cannot play Azir and also deny. The pick a card nerf isn't. I think that's. I think that's honestly a good change for the card. Um, as I talked about in the video, I think that changing pick a card to be two mana draw two makes it much more playable in other decks besides. Um, really low to the ground Twisted Fate decks where you couldn't really play it before because it, it's much easier to get rid of two fleeting cards than get rid of the you know, like be able to cast two fleeting cards and so at only two mana it makes that card like pretty playable for a lot of different decks so it, it nerfs Twisted Fate decks while also improving like just other variety um, Bilgewater decks So even though, man, think if we had Ride of Negation right here, though, and just countered all those, like, they'd be dead. Only partner. Only human. So even though we're killing the Twisted Fate, they still have a million cards. They can get the elusives. This uh, Excuse me. very likely ends with us getting killed, but we, you know, had to do that. Alright. Alright, 0-1. <laughs> now Zoe Apelios. Oh, we're just gonna play against people that, um... <laughs> that wanna play, like, their cards before they get nerfed a bunch, I guess. Yeah, that was kind of just like for a for a sanity's sake, just uh, conceding before they played all those burble fishes and stuff and everything like that. Okay, we got the attack token turn one, <clears throat> which is great with Zen. They forced us to choose. Azir's command! You cannot hold us down. Hey, Krabby! That's my resting face. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, with donation decks, you can you can definitely do donation decks for me to build the deck. Um, absolutely. That's yeah. A lot of people do that. Um, so yeah, definitely. If you want me to play a specific deck. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. They'll never see us coming. Only the worthy survive. I mean. <laughs> oh, not hush. I thought like for sure that was just gonna be hush, and my Zed was gonna be dead. But I had to attack. As darkness falls, the moon rises. Pablo's been down, but his knee out. So next turn I could I could go sparring student plus spinner next turn. So like assume I'm going um, quicksand to save Zed. I want to death mark the Aphelios. Do I just want to play? Maybe I just play a Zier plus Rock Hopper. Let's just do that. Let's just play our champions. All right, cool, Maximus. Yeah. If I don't play something, they can't Calibrum. Do not deny me. We go at one. Wow. My skill is unrivaled. I was not expecting that. I was, I was expecting that 2-1 just to block something. You know, like the 2-1 block 3-2 or something. All right, so now they don't get that free moon weapon. And of course, we're we're getting that two two follower anyway, right? So like, there's no reason not to play the three one now. Yeah, everybody on their la their last hurrah decks, I guess. Everybody sat there, decks getting nerfed. Yeah, oh, I'm not sad at all. I'm I'm very happy. I am very happy. <laughs> I wanted to play today to say goodbye to my four damage Shivana, but I meet Twisted Fate Biz and my mood is just gone. <laughs> yep. Um, I honestly like the change for Shivana. I think that Shivana with Fury, I think it's actually an upgrade. I'm, I'm excited about Shivana having Fury. I think that makes like Dragon Chow much better. And yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, the patch notes are up. You can see the patch notes here. Or if you want to watch my video reacting to the patch notes, it's up on YouTube there. Destiny calls. Disintegrate. Okay, so I guess they just have to play a spell and then Aphelios is a 4-4. Very good deny. Help slow them down. 
Hopefully no more box to puss. Sargon's history is in each stone and star. To the street! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. <laughs> Once was two, now no. Was one. Siblings once were inseparable. That life steal. Definitely think about just going arise, arise attack. We have four blockers. They would be able to stay alive because I couldn't challenge the golden sister. So they would be able to stay alive. But it would kill all their stuff. Would they stay alive? How big are these things? One, two, three, four, five. At least they do five damage each. Come, we have an empire to build. It is fine. Come. Why do you believe they missed the mark with the Lulu buff? I got it. I can't attack with the Vizier. Witness divinity. No further. I don't think her power was a problem, rather her fo followers were a problem. Well, her her power was definitely a problem, and, and yeah, her followers are also a problem. Like it's not like Lulu's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be like one of the best champions or anything like that, but it's it was definitely a um, a necessary buff in my eyes. Like it, right? Like it's not perfect, but it's Lulu's better, and so that's that's a win. All this stuff gonna be nerfed. In her radiant blessing. And it's pretty great. Pride was my end. It will be yours. You who have shattered planets. Because this is ridiculous. Two against a bunch of decks that are getting nerfed, a bunch of cards that won't be nearly as good tomorrow. Yeah, I agree that I'm, I'm very excited about three mana moon weapon. I think that was a, a good change. Okay. Alright, so Draven Jinx. This is going to be kind of a weird matchup. Quicksand can be really important against the champions but the thing is and the reason why we're not like a great quicksand deck is like let's say like they attack with a draven and we quicksand it we don't actually have anything that can do three power blocking it right now but we did draw that shape stone don't worry sorry about that we have long care people, long care persons here to do fertilizing and stuff like that. Men die, that's, what, that's what that was. Lives forever. Time for the main event. Let's move. Nothing but a footnote. 
Alright, so no landmarks yet. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. Alright, sorry about that. Screaming helps not at all. Hold up. Alright, so I think killing Jinx is probably the most important one to kill. Another shape stone. I can learn from watching you. So where are we at? Six? So it'll be seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, we're gonna be one short. I gotta work with this joker. We're gonna be one short. Full speed ahead. Azir's command! Sweep the left! So yeah, play, they played around Shapestone with that uh, block. Probably just the right block to make. <laughs> Dogs aren't too happy I put them in the other room while the, the lawn care person's here, because otherwise they'd just be barking a bunch. All right, so we're gonna take Zed. Time for the money makers. Good discard. Oh, they discard vision. So this will put me down to six. I don't really want to get rid of Sparring Student, but six means that we could just die to some burn spells, right? It's so like six is kind of a problem. I really don't want to block. So we'll see. We're gonna live with danger. I just think I just think having the sparring student as a four power attacker the next turn is gonna be very important. Because we we definitely have to kill them like this next turn. Oh, that hurts. All right, so here we go. So they can block five things. So we can have, like, we can make any of these lethal with Shapestone, whatever they don't block. Does also, you know, kills all their stuff. Hopefully that's Mystic Shot. Not get excited. Okay. So they have either Mystic Shot or get excited in hand. They're letting me kill everything. So this is either Mystic Shot or Get Excited. But with us being at six, I feel like we have to make them use it. Hopefully it's just Mystic Shot, not Get Excited. And hopefully that's a win. I guess it could be Whirling Death. Yeah, I was gonna say it could be Whirling Death. That's the worst case scenario, that's Whirling Death. That all three Dravens. This probably means that we're going to die from them going wide. To the street. 
Show them the might of our army. Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. Who blesses you? You seek an audience? Faithless creature. Yeah, I'm sorry, Azir. All right, let's draw something good. Okay, not bad. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Shurima lives. So they can trade. They can have their. They can. We could discard this and then trade with my four three, but that does get rid of that other card. Car was a vision. Okay, so they're down to one. They're at one, I'm at three, and I'm an Azir, and they got nothing. This is <laughs> real close. Uh. Alright, hopefully they didn't just draw get excited. Yay, not get excited. Wow, that was close. That was as close as it gets. I played Lux at last uh, regional tournament. I think I think Lux is really, really good. It's a card I always have a high win rate with, and I always lose to whenever I play against it. I'm not sure why people don't play Lux more. I think we're just gonna keep all this. Looks like good keeps. Check out these so I went to turn three. We probably don't trade. Yeah. So to do you know like this on one, duo on two, and then Hopper, Dune Keeper on three. Maybe we aren't a very good inspiring martial deck. We're not as good of an inspiring martial deck as I thought that we were going to be. That's a heck of a start for them. I don't want to attack with my 3-1, because I don't want the 3-1 to trade with the 2-1. I want the 3-1 to trade with the 3-3s. Preferably. The Emperor commands. The land obey. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Glory for mm. I would have played the Tomb Keeper first. It would have, you know, made this thing a three-three. I guess I probably should have. Sedition. I will run you over. Oh, you're in for it. Let me going to nine. Making two good trades. Yeah, that's that's what I was kind of thinking. Like, like Marshall plus Doomkeeper later could be pretty awesome, um, but we are close to leveling up Azir. So, like, even just like this next turn, it, like maybe we draw a smaller, a cheaper unit. It's not a cheaper unit, but. Right. To the streets, show them the might of our arms. But if we would have drawn a cheaper unit, we could have played Doomkeeper plus the other unit, and then those together would have leveled up Azir. And that would have been nice. Ahead. 
kind of letting me off the hook a little bit there with that Blighted Caretaker. That 3-3 three, has gone. Kind of let me off the hook a little bit. I guess I sh still should have attacked with 3-3 three, three and 4-6. Yeah, I still should have attacked with both of those. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised by that too. There is there are just a few things in the bug fixes that I was very surprised about. Seeing. I don't want any of these. You know, like like they completely changed how Katarina um Draven and what Victor work, how they're all summoned now, not play. And that was just under like a random sentence at the end of the bug fixes. Like, why was that not like, a, like way up above that of like, hey, these champions are changing? That was really weird. I don't think they're playing Ruination. I'm not that scared of Ruination. I am the in the darkness. Together we are part of something more. Together, you are children of Shereen. Let's move! They won't suffer long. Golden Warriors! Remember this day! Mm. Destiny mm. calls! It is time! Your commands! Alright, the old play a Green Glade duo and make it a 10 power the same turn you play it. <laughs> Just 10 power Green Glade duo. That's pretty sweet. This deck looks good. You know, like, we lost to Twist of Fate and Aphelios, like, a couple of decks that are getting nerfed a bunch. Um, but our decks look pretty good. Okay, what we got? Got some more aggro with Elise. This is another good hand. I could see getting rid of the Rock Hoppa, but... They are a an Elise deck, so they're going to be a, a Fearsome deck. I'm going to want that Rock Hoppa against Fearsome. See what we see. Sand and blood. So there's a couple different ways to play like this Noxious version. the The way I like is with you know, Imperial Demolitionists and Doom Beasts and Decimates and Noxion Fervors and all that kind of stuff. So we'll have to see how much um, burn they have. But they could have a lot of uh, burn. And yep, playing Grenadier definitely means, yeah, they're going a lot of burn and not just fighters. Pledge yourself to the shadow. <laughs> yeah, Dawn Spiders back in Veda. There's not, yeah, there's nothing to do about that, like with aggro attacks, how attacking first matters a lot. There's, you just can't, like, that's just going to be how it is with decks. You know, like when you're playing a card game and the deck is designed around ending the game as fast as possible with attacking, it's going to matter when you attack. Like, there's, that's not really a, you know, there's nothing to design to change that, I guess is what I'm saying. Can't do anything about that. If it's made of sand, I can write it. Hey, good hand. It's a lot of damage. I will run you over. 
I'm glad, like, the Grenadier should be attacking, for sure. I don't know why this Grenadier is not attacking, but I'm very glad it's not. Jerima, your Emperor has returned. Destiny calls. Always forward. If I play the Rock Hopper, we level up Azir, but I just feel like this is going to be Noxion Fervor in here. And I, I think this is just a, a prime opportunity to hold up Bright Negation. And it's not like attacking with a Rock, rock Hopper is good against the 1 1 anyway. Okay, no, no Fervor. Claim what is ours. Okay. Ah, uh, ouch. To the streets, show them the might of our army. Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. <laughs> My opponent's deck is bugged. It really is bugged. Wow. You seek an audience? That doesn't even make sense to make that be the only attacker. Like, why would you not attack with the Precious Pet? You don't want to trade Precious Pet for Zed? Like, you don't want to make that trade? Do not deny me. Sand and blood. They won't suffer long. All right, well, which one of you is not attacking? The Marshal. So I, obviously I can exhaust. Um, I don't know exactly where I want to exhaust or how I want to exhaust. If they're prepared for harrowing. They'd be they'd be attacking a lot more if they were trying to clear. They want to clear the board for harrowing with like that. Come, we have an empire to build. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to exhaust. I guess. I guess you here. They've twice not attacked for three when they really should have. Like that last turn, they really should have attacked for three. Like two turns ago with the Grenadier and last turn with this, where the only thing that would have traded for me would have been Zed. Right? Like, so like there's twice they could have done that and traded with Zed. I really just want another deny a right of negation. wasn't much point in me doing all that stuff. Just kind of felt like playing some cards. That's what mattered. There we go. That will do. Alright, three and two.
So yeah, I think that's that's what we learned is that we learned that this deck does look pretty good for the new patch, especially again, you know, like we went three and zero against other aggressive decks. We we lost our first two to decks that are getting nerfed, and then we played against three other aggressive decks, and they were all very close games, but we were um, victorious in all of them. Having the like it, yeah, so like it it does hit really really hard, and then having like these things at the end of the game. Or whenever your opponent's trying to, you know, finish you out with burn spells and you you can uh, stop them. That's pretty nice. And so I, I liked this deck. I liked how it looked. Um, some people were saying maybe some more Emperor's Dias over Ancient Preparations. And I'm not so sure about that. I don't really love Emperor's Dias, to be honest. Um, I know the Ancient Preparations didn't necessarily look the best all the time. But it did. I think it did pretty well. I mean, I like that it only cost one mana. We saw it like the one game where we played it on turn two, where we found Zed, put Zed on top, so then we had Zed on turn three, and then it came into play on turn four to help out the sparring student. You know, like, so I, I think that predict is pretty nice. I, I really do, and so I, I like that card. Um, I like the one mana and the predict. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Uh, Inspiring Marshall was okay. It wasn't, like, necessarily the best, but, you know, it was, it was definitely better whenever we had, like, Zed or, or Azir. You know, that can put in the allies with attacking. Um, but this could be upgraded if you if you want. I like the sand spinners. Um, yeah, it didn't... I was I was a little disappointed with the Inspiring Marshal. So, you know, you could play, like, some Sand Crafters instead. But, like, you know, maybe play, like, one Inspiring Marshal and, like, a Sand Crafter or two. I could, I could definitely see doing that. Um, also, like, Jewel Protector is always an underrated card that, uh, you know, you, you can play and, like, give your Green Glade Duo plus three plus three or zed or whatever so that's that's a pretty good card for a five drop there if you want or of course you can go with the tried and true ruin runner that could be also just a good card to have here that overwhelm spell shield you know maybe that would be a little bit better so um, that was the one card that i thought that could maybe be improved upon and those are some uh different options there between those three but yeah overall very happy with it it was a fun deck to play good fast games and, you know, it was definitely a lot better whenever <laughs> we didn't face the broken cards that are getting nerfed. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, any of the updates that we're going to have in uh, Balance Patch 2.5 that you're excited about. Let me know what kind of decks you want to see um, after the Balance Patch update and everything like that. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.